Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. I've got two Aqualisa showers here today that I'm gonna strip down for spares and scrap. Aqualisa Aquastyle and an Aqualisa Quartz Electric 8.5. That's probably the kilowatt rating. So without further ado, let's go straight for this one. Screws are out. There's some rubber toggle buttons there. I'm not gonna keep them. There's a knob, good big knob with a good big cog on the back of it. it drives this here. Metal boiler in here. And let's get straight into it, taking everything apart. So the first is the inlet valve. A couple of screws to hold it on and a couple of, actually three or four cables on here. We have four cables going to that. Okay, and this one here. Gets that off. Just have a look at the data plate on the bottom of that before I keep going. Aqualisa Aquastyle is a product code, serial number, and it's an 8.5 kilowatt depending on your voltage. More screws. There's a little pressure hose, I think, here behind the front of this screw. Stopping me getting it out. Not sure now will this come out, what's gonna come out. I'll try and take them all out actually, because that's easier then. It's the earth cable, earth connector block. Okay, all of these are screws are in behind, so I'll take out what I can see, see how I get on. So a screw holding on a bracket for that boiler. The boiler's loose now. The boiler loose. Will that come off? Yeah. Okay. It might be full of water. Yeah, and it is. Alright. So I'll undo these screws here holding the cables on. Full of water. Nice combination of brown cables and red cables, which you don't often see. There's a little kind of tiny little board there, and all it seems to do is have resistors for the LED. They're not LED. Are they LEDs? There might be some kind of LEDs. The indicator lights anyways, they are, they are definitely indicator lights. Let me get that off. Okay, I'll pour this water out. There's the boiler, quite a nice heavy little copper one, that. Good scrap value. There's your switch unit, so there's a toggle switch for on and off. Which I presume has spade connectors going to it, but they don't seem to want to come out. No, it's just broken off, right. That's the way that is. Um, that's a rocker switch for high and low, I presume. And there's the little circuit board. It's a very simple circuit. Unfortunately for it, I'm not interested in it. And then this switch here, let's get these spade connectors on. Now this is a, this is just up my street. This red one here. That is a spade connector on each end, and that is ideal for hot wire and washing machines. So I'll set that aside for later. The rest of them have a screw down connector on the other end. So it's no good to me. Get 
these clipped off. And those wires will be sent for recycling. Now I've broken the tab off that switch. So what's left here? How does this go together? It's holding this on. Okay, so this has to slide up. It's locked in position. It has to slide up to get it out. So you wouldn't know that. If you hadn't done this before. Or if you hadn't got it, if you had it stuck to the wall. Also, oh, there's another screw hiding in there. Here's a little elbow of pipe. Yeah, you wouldn't know that if it was stuck to the wall. You have to slide that up. So that's the inlet solenoid valve. Very similar to Triton's. Maybe not the same though. Now I've got four screws holding this thing on, but I wonder does it just snap in or out? Ah, there's another really rusty screw down here. I suspect that that's what's going to be holding it all on. Why it's rusty? I don't know. Yeah, so it's held on with one screw. Oh, greasy as well. So that's your flow regulator and a pressure switch as well. Right. There's a little tab there. I can't remember that, what that holds on. The outlet, I think. Maybe that was an earth. Don't remember. So that was the Aqualisa Aqua Style. And then the next is this Aqualisa Quartz Electric. A couple of screws on top here. My fingers are all greasy from that other thing. Right, oh, this is a different kind of one. So it's got a circuit board. That's a momentary switch, I'd say. It's got a circuit board in here. There's another screw on the bottom there that wasn't attached. I'm gonna need a smaller screwdriver. Let's see if this one will do it. Yep. So there's a, they're very simple circuit boards by the looks of things, but let's see what's in here. Is it a diaphragm switch? Wow, a lot going on there. So that's the cover gone, and then this clips on here. So, yes, it's got a momentary switch here. And then... Wow, a lot of surface mount stuff going on there. That's quite a complex little board. Hmm. Looks like there's a bit of heat damage to it there as well across those, I think those are two large resistors there. Seems to be a bit of scorching on the back, so I'd say that's dead. It is now. Now look at this for a unit. Right, so we've got some kind of a solenoid, I think, down here. There's not much in this to take apart, really. Solenoid there. You can start up here, power coming in, no cables. It's quite a smart design, this, really, because You have very few cables all over the place. You've got this two earth cables running around. And then lots of small screws. I'm gonna take them all out because it's not going back together. I wouldn't say this would be very easy to fix. If something went wrong on it. Because everything, there's the inlet. The inlet's coupled directly to here, which seems to have some kind of a flow regulator on it here. I presume that's what the main the main knob goes to. Inlet, maybe there's a solenoid in there. Can't you can't actually see what's going on. It's amazing. It's quite a quite an interesting one. So there's that earth loose. Okay, we're off, we're off that plastic back end. There's gonna be water in it, of course. Now, okay, we can take, it all does seem to come apart, however. 
See, maybe it's just gotten to the point in the world where an electric shower, I don't know if this how much this one costs, but an electric shower typically costs, I don't know, 140 quid for a reasonable one, and a pumped electric one, you can round and about add 100 quid on there for the electric pump, but around where I live, you don't get, oh, well, you don't get too many pumped ones. That's that off. A little bit of weight in that, it's like a little, oh, it's a little solenoid, just little pusher, so probably low voltage, go into that, we'll play with that later, cut those cables on that plug, and save that for later, that's just an earth cable on it, does it say what it is, no, it just says 0908, so it could be 12 years old, perhaps, there's some of the details on that boiler, nothing much, 8.5 kilowatts, um, how much do I want to do here? I want to take this off. <laughs> it's, it's so neat and so well packed. But what's funny about it is they've made it really neat and really well packed, but they haven't got anything else in here. There's nothing more to it than any other electric shower I've ever seen. I get these ones out. Or how you're meant to tackle this. There's another screw in there. It's one of the more interesting ones for me because I haven't seen one like this before. Okay, so you can pull that off. Pull this off somehow. It's holding it on. There's two tabs. One tab there. Okay. It's just a bit of plastic. On. That's a little strip connector there. Okay, so there's some switches here. So there's a plunger there, which I presume is something to do with flow, flow regulator. So if there's no flow, if it's not turned on, it won't heat water, which is sensible. Let's cut those cables. Very little on the cable front in here. Big, heavy nickel plated, I think. Um, it's not a bus bar, but it's just a connector, really. with a little cable soldered to it for power, I guess, to the control board down below. So the power goes to that control board from here, and if you press the on switch, then I presume what's happening is that this electronic system here is activating that solenoid, opening the water valve, so you don't have to do it manually. God bless us. So you don't have to do that manually. Where did it actuate on? It, it actuated this lever here, which I guess opens a little valve in here. And I will find out now if I keep, keep on screwing because we're in this far. So this is to get the outlet off. I'll take out these screws. There's another one here. Okay, so that gets that plastic cover off, the outlet comes off, if you take out the screw and then twist it and pull, that's the outlet and then the switch here, it's got a bit of grease on it, I guess that's some kind of plastic grease. Now, so we're getting into the inlet, oh it's very stiff. Rusty. Okay, a couple more, and then we should be able to see there's some kind of rubber plunger, diaphragm, something like that in here, probably. Now yeah. Oh, okay, so nothing so far, just this little pin. Yikes, what are we getting into? Seven screws. Bear with me. Seven screws. So I've never really seen anything like this. This shower unit is really, it is a unit. 
because the other ones are just more of an assembly of parts, kind of like um, a flow regulator and other bits out of a washing machine, really. Just a boiler and a solenoid inlet valve and yeah, this is kind of neat. Never seen anything like this before. Not in terms of scrap, there's very little value in it. It's two little bits of copper, but like you're talking copper's typically got its weight in pennies. So maybe just over its weight in pennies. So what I'm saying there is if you have whatever, 100 grams of pennies, I think a penny weighs a gram. So I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's worth its weight in pennies. Right, the inlet there. I don't know where we're going with this here. I don't know what that plunger did. So that's the flow knob is, is doing these here. And somewhere in here, is that where that plunger was going? So, oh, I think it, oh no, where was it gone? This plunger pin, I think, might push this plunger up and down. Or not, no, I don't. This wants to pop up. Look, it inflates itself. It's kind of neat. I don't know. Let's go in a bit further. Some more screws. I should be able to see into the boiler next. Apparently full of water. So the screw I started with here, I don't know if it's come out correctly. And something's connected there with that little spring down the bottom there to this plunger here. Oh, I can just pull that off. It's got a gasket, it's rubber with a gasket. There's a spring, so the spring's what's pushing it out. I don't know what's making it up. Let's uh, drain this water off. Let's see how we can get in here. Yeah, it's stuck on that one screw now. Right. Cut that wire. And that's just a plastic. Thing, the same as uh, in other ones you have a copper pipe going up and down it's all plastic which is which is what it is it's a micro switch there and then there's a copper boiler and it clips in from the side I wonder if I can unhook these they're pretty well held on it's a pretty well oh full of water pretty well staked on there so they're pretty well staked on on both sides apart from the middle bit for some reason it's just been two big things that clamp onto it. Yeah, Aqualisa, right. Haven't seen one like that before. That was interesting for me. Maybe it was for you too. Yeah, like, so I'll tidy up now. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Give us a like if you liked it. Give us a dislike if you didn't. Let's me know. Give us a comment or subscribe to a playlist. Thanks for watching. See you later.